This week marks the, the 46th anniversary of when the Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior. It was heading from Minnesota to Michigan on November 10, 1975. A winter storm sank it. Natalie Nori attended a memorial ceremony at the Minnesota Lighthouse. Ralph T. Walton, Euler. Many are reflecting on this anniversary of the sinking of the Fitzgerald in Lake Superior. Weighing more than 13,000 tons, the American Great Lakes freighter remains the largest ship to sink in Lake Superior. It's a much bigger turnout than we thought for what a normal Wednesday would be for the Fitzgerald event. So um, it's, it's great to have people up here and, and remembering the Fitz and also kind of engaging with history here at Split Rock and being able to see the beacon lit, which is a very rare thing for people. Some family members of those who died were present, helping ring the bell to remember the fallen. And for those attending, it added another emotional element that made this a powerful experience. I think it's really um, a nice, solemn event. You know, the crowd got hushed, you know, as the ceremony began. It was uh, very honoring to the families and and there was uh, two descendants of survivors here, two, or of people that passed, you know, so so that was made it even a little more special, you know, that family was here to honor their family members. And for Hayes Scriven, the site manager, he believes the addition of family members reminds people how recent this tragedy took place and how it still lingers for those connected. It adds a more personal connection to it, I think, too, for people to realize that this is something that happened very recent. Um, you know, 46 years is not a long time. And for people to see that and, and see the family and, and engage with them, we hope that people that attended had a better personal connection with it and, and understand a little bit more and then do remember the, the fits um, in a different light this way. There was also a painting donated earlier in the day from one of the surviving families and those who witnessed the event were happy to be a part of it. Happy in a respectful way, you know, that we're honoring some people that lost their life on the, on the lake and got to have respect for the lake too. The bell rang 29 times for the Fitzgerald sailors who died. It rang once more for all other sailors who have died in the Great Lakes. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.